Marin County, California. It's home to the second largest oyster crop in the state. It's also home to a shrinking number of dairies, like this one, owned and operated by John Taylor and his wife Karen. You want to spin or go high? Who grew up on the 800 acre ranch overlooking the scenic Tamales Bay. We're uh, standing on the Bianchini Ranch. Um, my kids represent seven generations of dairy farmers in California, five generations here in West Marin. In recent years, farmers like Taylor have found it harder to cope with increasing environmental regulations, rules that protect the bay, just down this hill, and the oysters that are growing in the bay from potentially harmful runoff created by cows. You know, back in the 50s, there was well over 200 dairies in West Marin, or in Marin County, period. Today, there's 23, 24 dairies. And what do you attribute that to? A lot of regulation. Now dairy farmers are teaming up with scientists from UC Cooperative Extension to create solutions that will help keep dairies in business while still addressing environmental concerns. A lot of times we work on water quality, habitat conservation, um, in addition to bringing them solutions for business plans, direct marketing, value-added types of products, uh, helping them diversify. So it's a, it's a, it's a very complex set of uh, needs uh, in response to being a local farmer, and that's what uh, both from the campus on out to the county, we try to create that conduit to expertise and information. So you can kind of see where we're farming and where we're not. Yep, no, it's great. On this land, David Lewis has helped to set up filter strips, implement rotational grazing, and create sediment basins, all designed to trap water runoff at the dairy. And there in the, the sediment can settle, the manure can settle, and all the nutrients and pathogens that are attached to them are here in this kind of material, rather than making it all the way down to the creek. The concern is that what flows to the creek eventually flows into the bay. The Tamales Bay watershed is a 220 square mile area managed primarily for grazing livestock and dairies. There are also some 600 acres of oyster leases. Both oysters and dairy are important industries for this region. And sometimes there's conflict. Water quality is closely monitored. When contaminant levels are too high, the oyster leases are closed, which means farmers like Martin Sealer can't harvest. That used to create tension between these two important farming communities, but now they're working together to keep both industries producing. I think the dairymen understand that the oyster farming is an important part of the community and the economy here. This area, the kind of the top of the hill as you go down, this is our silage field. And again, Taylor admits it's the small steps and the big partnerships that have meant increased harmony and understanding between dairy and oyster farmers. They're both crucial to the economy of Marin County and the future of farming. These are all family-run farms and family-run oyster production. Those, those, they're local business folks. And I just like to see that, um, that strength of that community maintained. You ready to swing? It's something the Taylor family would like, too. Their plan is to build a thriving business and help preserve this beautiful bay so they can someday pass their treasured land down to the next generation. So seven generations in California, five generations in West Marin. In Marin County, Kristen Samos for UC Davis.